Brian, you became a father over over the weekend. Congratulations to to you and your your family. Just talk about the experience. How how does it feel to be a father now? Yeah, it's you never really can be too prepared for that situation, and you don't know what to expect. But it was a wonderful weekend. It was a great experience at the hospital, and we're glad everyone's healthy and super excited for the years to come. You've been here for for many years. We we all know how much this this city and and this club club means to you. Is it even more special now to to be able to bring your son into the world? Yeah, that was the that was the plan all along to make sure he was born in Helsinki. I think having a medical system that's so uh, touted around the world, it it made sense for us to have the birth here, and we were blown away by the experience and nothing but positive things to say about the hospital and all the midwives and what a what a humbling experience because those ladies uh, deserve so much credit. Is it too early to start talking about when, when he's gonna start uh, playing hockey for Jokerit? No, that'll be <laughs> that'll be his decision. He was pretty big so hopefully he'll be bigger than me. That would be a huge asset, asset for him but I think uh, time will tell and if he wants to play hockey I'd love for him to uh, grow up doing that if that's what he wants and if he has a passion for it I'll be happy to support him. This uh, the whole situation right now we're we're on a break from from the games and you are preparing for the Olympics and and having a baby how is it how have the the past few weeks been for you? Yeah it's stressful to say the least uh, luckily my fiance has done a great job and she's really uh, been a warrior through it all and mentally it's really tough on her and for me as well, but uh, the fact that the birth went well and everyone's healthy definitely gives me some relief in terms of anxiety, but just staying, staying healthy leading up to the birth was number one priority and then obviously the Olympics coming up. So I think it's a huge test mentally and something that I'll look back on and uh, say I'm glad I did it and hopefully things go well over the next couple of weeks, but definitely a, uh, a challenging month. Yeah, absolutely. Moving on to the Olympics, uh, you played for, for Team USA four years ago in, uh, in South Korea, now over to, to China. It's a different team. You are the only one left mm. from, from that team. Uh, how was that experience four years ago? How do you see this team going into these games? Yeah, I think four years ago we maybe had a different strategy in terms of selecting players. We took a lot of veterans and I think at the end of the day uh, you got to take the best team possible. and. I think USA Hockey did that. Uh, the young talent they have access to in the college ranks and some of those kids that are only 19 are quite the talents and they will be NHL stars someday, a couple of them. So I'm excited to see them up close in person and I'm excited to see how they're going to do against the KHL players. I think our team has a chance to upset some people and have, has a chance to be a surprise in the tournament and I'm just excited to get back on the world stage, another opportunity to uh, work on my game under pressure and make sure I'm ready for the playoffs after the Olympics. But first and foremost, uh, gotta gotta get everything settled at home and then <laughs> take care of business at the Olympics and just make sure my game's sharp uh, the whole three weeks. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, there's a lot of lot of stuff going on in your mind right now, family-wise and and still ha having to prepare for for these games. Yeah, it's. It's a challenge. I mean, if I didn't have such a, a strong fiance, I don't think I would have decided to, you know, take the, I don't know if it's a risk, but take the opportunity of playing in the Olympics. That was a huge sacrifice for her to allow me to do so. And I'm forever grateful for that. And I think uh, having that support system in a time like this is so, so important. So uh, I owe a lot to her for letting me do this. You are a, an experienced player on, on that team. Now, like you like you mentioned, a lot of lot of guys coming from from college hockey, and and how do you see your role on on that team? You are you gonna be one of the one of the leaders and kind of setting the tone for for the team? I'd like to. I mean, I I think I'm gonna be myself, and uh, I like doing stuff like that. It's just who I am in terms of uh, competitive nature. So if that's the role I'm put in, so be it. I'll relish that opportunity. Uh, but then again, at the same time on the ice I think everyone should be fine it's just helping the younger guys get comfortable off the ice which will translate to some success on the ice so I think just being a positive influence in the locker room and making sure 
the younger guys are as comfortable as possible, especially early on in that tournament, and I think that'll help us a lot uh, later on in the tournament. Nine Jokarit players in, in total in, in the Olympics. Uh, how is it going to be for you to, to play against your teammates? Well, I hope I get a chance to play against Finland because I think it'll be a pretty important game because they have quite the roster and I think they're they're one of the favorites for sure. So definitely, definitely an opportunity I would I would like to have. We'll see if it happens. Uh, but then again, at the same time, I wish Finland nothing but the best. I have a lot of respect for their coaching staff and all the players that made the team. So I'm looking forward to that opportunity if it happens. And uh, if we can't win, I hope Finland wins. <laughs> have you set a set a goal? Is 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 a medal a goal when you go into, into li the Olympics, or or do you? You yeah. dream about gold even. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to even think about because the NHL was such a long shot for me when I was a kid, didn't really think about it. And then my dreams never even got far enough to think about the Olympics. So the last time around, I think you're just, you're trying to take in the experience, trying to play as well as you can. But I think you're not really focused on uh, the things you need to be focused on. And that's one in a gold medal. And I think looking back on 2018, no one really remembers personal success. Doesn't matter at all if you play seven minutes or 20 minutes or if you have one goal or five goals, you got to compete for a gold medal. And that's really important to me, especially this time around. Not that it wasn't in 2018, but I'm not going to remember uh, if I have a really good Olympics personally, I'll remember it if I have a chance to compete for a gold medal. And that's, that's the mindset for me. And um, hopefully we get that chance.